All right, Kim, we got another good question from a customer who's doing size exclusion chromatography, or SEC as it's commonly known as. Mm -hmm. uh, they're using 100% aqueous mobile phase. And from a previous episode that we had done, they're not seeing the microbial growth in their mobile phase. So they're kind of calling us out a little bit. Ah, oh, we have a skeptic. Yes, a skeptic is so, right. So yes, we did that previous episode where mm -hmm. we were showing that microbes grow in aqueous mobile phase. And we looked at the inlet frit of the column and you, you showed the microbial growth. It but, was there. But this person, they don't see it in their mobile phase. So they, they're still saying, and eh, no, I, I think I can let my aqueous yeah. mobile phase go longer. They're, they're, ask, they're essentially asking us to prove it. Yeah, I think we should find an expert. I mean, I know you and I could do this again, but if they're not really buying what we're selling, let's get an application scientist, uh, special apps. We need the special apps. Once again. Yes, yes. And we'll bring in an expert and we'll see what they have to say and if they can help us out um, with this myth. What do you think? All right, let's go find him. Okay. All right, Kim, we got really lucky. I found Steve here, Steve. application scientist, yep. who's an expert on SEC, mm -hmm. everything SEC, and he's gonna be able to help us with this myth. Awesome, awesome, thank you. So what it is, Steve, is that we've had a customer kind of call in and say, you know, he's leaving his aqueous mobile phase up there for an extended period of time, like greater than a week, and he's not seen any microbes in that mobile phase. And Kim and I showed an earlier episode where that could grow relatively quickly. And we're hoping if you can kind of help us out with that. He's kind of telling us he doesn't believe us. So if you can help us by kind of illustrating this, I'm going to take pictures this time and we'll send him photographic evidence. It's a good question, Jonathan and Kim. I, you know, I think ultimately, the longer you leave the mobile phase out, we can all agree that the greater the chances that something's going to grow in it. Agreed. Now, whether it grows in two weeks or one day or two days, right. it's really kind of random. So we always recommend that two days at most yep. for a mobile phase that is really prone to microbial growth is really about the limit because any more than that, you really do run the risk of growing some microbes. Yep. And you don't really have to see them kind of swirling around and swimming in a bottle to really know that they're yeah. there. Um, yeah. It gives me an idea. I actually have some samples that I worked up a while ago for a demonstration. Let me go get those and show them to you. All right, Kim and JT. I got these samples and I have a green laser. These samples, one of them was left out on the bench top for about a week and a half. Huh. Clearly has some bacterial growth in it. Okay. But we can't see it visibly. And what we're gonna do is check it with a green laser. Now you gotta remember, you gotta use a green laser for this, not a red laser. Ah, okay. Now why a green laser? Oh, it's cause the wavelength of the green laser is so much shorter that it diffracts more off of these small particulates ah. than the longer wavelength of the red laser. Ah, okay, okay. So let's look okay. at our control. And in our control, we can see that as we pass the green laser through the mobile phase, we really don't see any yeah. significant diffraction, any big sparkles So we take in this the to be, this, this is clean. This yeah. is a good mobile Looks phase. Clean. Okay. okay. But if we look at this mobile phase that was left out for about a week and a half, we can see significant sparkling oh. in the path length Ow. of the laser. Ow. Ah. Holy right? smokes. And what that is, is those are particulates that are diffracting the green laser light back to our eyes. So we can kind of say, yeah, there's something in here, even though this looks perfectly good too. That's great, that's great. Thanks a lot, Steve. I mean, that's a pretty clear indicator that you got stuff in there. It makes yeah. me think about my bottled water that I let sit out for I a while. Uh, and, and I just want okay. to really acknowledge to some effect the, uh, that the fine folks at Wyatt are the ones that showed us this trick. You know, they're, cool. they make the malls um, detectors, light scattering detectors in particulates in mobile phase are really detrimental to the signals they get on okay. those systems. Huh. So they really came up with this and Thanks to them for sharing it with us. Awesome, awesome. Great, well, thanks Steve. a lot, Steve. I mean, that's really helpful. We still need to do some chromatography. I think we need to do the chromatography and, and try to generate just a little more proof statements. He's given us some ideas with uh, showing this microbial growth. Agreed. Okay. All right. Thank you. Kim, that was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. I think we need to probably do some chromatography. Yes. Um, that's where our expertise is. Yep. What are you thinking? Yeah, so I'm thinking we should do some size exclusion runs yep. and kind of show the effect. Since this customer was doing size exclusion, you know, the scientist was doing size exclusion. Let's, Good point. Let's do a size exclusion experiment where we show the impact of 
the microbial growth in the mobile phase on the analysis, maybe from injection one to injection 500 or something like that. Yeah, that sounds good. We have experience. We did that before, we so do. similar. And I'm hanging on to these samples that Steven showed us. He yeah. gave me some ideas with that microbial now, growth. Now, what would that be? I think we could take the actual mobile phase, maybe pull the sinker okay. out of the mobile phase container, okay. and then take a sample of that and plate it and take a look at the microbial mm. growth. I bet we could see some bacteria grow in there. That'd be pretty awesome. All right, let's do it. All right, let's All right, go. Cool. So Kim, we got that chromatography we were hoping to be able to do here. Um, a nice simple size exclusion separation with clean mobile phase and with that dirty mobile phase that was left out for a few days. Aha. Uh -huh. Um, pretty obviously, what we're seeing here is just the impact of uh, peak shape, sensitivity, resolution um, on that bottom chromatogram. That was what done with the old cruddy mobile phase. Yeah, those peaks actually on the bottom look like they might be splitting. You know, I think we'll do that inlet frit analysis again, too, and kind of take that frit off and take a look at it. Yeah, see if anything's kind of built up on that inlet frit. I mean, again, this is very similar to what we showed with the small mall separation. Yep. But again, it's applicable to SEC. Yep. So still great to show. Okay. So Kim, how'd those uh, images come out from the uh, Fritz? Ah, I'm glad you asked. We actually took a look at the scanning electron mi microscope image of that inlet Fritz yep. from the SEC column. And you can clearly see that there's some rod shaped bacteria that's growing on that inlet Fritz. So I'm gonna make sure that we send this picture to our skeptical yeah. scientist to Easy answer to his see. question. Yep. And we also did that experiment where we took the mobile phase sinker out of the dirty oh, mobile yeah. phase. How'd that come out? Yep. So we took a look at that sinker and we kind of soaked it in some PBS. Then we took 500 microliters of that and applied it to um, a microbe supporting agar plate okay. just to see if we could grow something, right? And we, what we can clearly see here is we've got a lot of bacterial Whoa. growth look on at this all plate. That. I know. So we have more evidence that microbes are growing in that mobile phase. So I think we have a lot of evidence to share with this customer. I agree. Okay. Well done. So Kim, it was awesome. We got some special help from Steve on this myth. Really important stuff there with that laser, really cool stuff. Uh, we did some chromatography, we did some plating, we did it all. Yep, and we have photographic evidence. Exactly, so we got a lot of stuff to respond to this scientist about. Um, so how do you want to call this one? If you get back to the original myth, you know, do you have to um, change your mobile phase every couple of days? You know, scientists didn't really believe that you needed to do it. How do you want to call this one? I think we have proven beyond a doubt beyond that it doubt. is trusted. You should not take the chance because you can get microbial growth. Exactly. And it can have all of the effects we showed. Exactly right. You might not see it. I mean, to the naked eye again, it, those both look really clear. Mm -hmm. um, invest in a green laser. Mm -hmm. uh, do that laser experiment. Uh, it's pretty obvious. I mean, yeah, it 100 percent trusted. Absolutely trusted. So I'm going to upload these images and great. let's make a response for the scientist. Perfect. That sounds great. All right. If you'd like your question to be answered on a future episode, please feel free to email us at trustyourscience at waters.com.